Hi everyone, this is Steve with your latest Hurricane Tracker app video update. I'd like to begin over here in the Eastern Pacific where uh, Hurricane Cosme was downgraded to Tropical Storm Cosme this morning and uh, that is occurring because the system is moving towards the west-northwest, moving into cooler waters and over the coming days we do expect this system to dissipate. The National Hurricane Center is watching a new area of disturbed weather off of the Mexican coastline here. Right now there's no uh, threat of any development in the near term. As we get into this weekend it looks like conditions may be, become more favorable for this system to uh, begin to develop, especially as Cosme continues to move further westward. Over in the Atlantic all is still quiet. No uh, tropical activity is expected during the next 48 hours. But as we get into the middle to latter parts of next week, two of the computer models, the American GFS as well as the Canadian CMC, have both been uh, consistent with showing development here sometime towards the middle portions of next week. The GFS model is uh, continuing to show a weak system, most likely a tropical depression or a minimal tropical storm, developing here in the southern portions of the Bay of Campeche and moving west-northwest towards the Mexican coastline, much like Tropical Storm Barry did earlier this month. If you've been following our uh, post on Facebook and Twitter, uh, you'll be reminded that the Canadian model the past couple of days has been showing a Category 1, borderline Category 2 hurricane here uh, moving in just east of New Orleans into the Mississippi-Alabama border around July 4th. Well, this model is beginning to lose some of its credibility because over the past few runs, it's been moving this system more to the east and is now showing a, a tropical depression, a much weaker system, moving into uh, the eastern portions of the Florida Panhandle. Over the past several years, this model has not been one of the better performing models. However, it did receive an upgrade during the off-season and it did perform fairly well with Tropical Storm Andrea. So I wanted to take a closer look at this model, uh, especially since it performed pretty good earlier this month. But it's becoming much more inconsistent now with the track and intensity. So I'm not going to put as much faith into this model. And we'll show you in, in just a few moments what uh, it looks like may happen next week or what the most likely scenario may be. Now the GFS ensemble members here are uh, showing a fairly good chance of a tropical cyclone formation down here in the southern portions of the Bay of Campe Campeche next week. This graph represents the percentage chance of tropical cyclone formation and you can see it's showing about a 40 to 60 percent chance uh, during the next 120 to 240 hour period which is basically next week of something developing here in the southern gulf and then moving uh, west northwest or northwest towards the state of Texas. And also here in the Eastern Pacific Basin, that other disturbance we were looking at, it looks like there's a good chance of another system forming out in that region as well. Now as we get into next week, um, a trough of low pressure is forecasted to develop here over the Mid-Tennessee River Valley as well as over the state of Texas. And I'm going to put this into motion. You could see the, uh, the blue areas with the green is uh, is where the trough of low pressure would be located and it's showing a fairly deep trough of low pressure and a strong one for this time of year here digging pretty far south in the deep south Texas and uh, even down into the uh, central portions of Mexico. Now if a system were to develop down here in the Gulf of Mexico as the GFS and its ensemble members have been implying there is a good chance that if a system develops, it could be drawn towards the north here, towards the northwestern or the north central Gulf Coast. So right now at this time, based upon the latest data we have, the most likely scenario, and again, this is not a guarantee, this is the most likely scenario if a low pressure were to develop next week down here in the Gulf, as we saw with Tropical Storm Barry, we had a ridge of high pressure to the north of the system, which pushed Barry west into uh, Mexico here and towards Tampico. Next week, if another low pressure uh, were to develop in this area, it looks like right now, based on the current forecasted steering patterns, 
it would track somewhere within these orange lines, anywhere from uh, the northern Gulf Coast of Mexico over towards just west of Mobile Bay. So if you live in this region, we're not saying you're going to get hit by a system next week, but the uh, chances are increasing. And uh, right now, there's about a 30 to 40% chance of a system developing and moving towards the north. So if you live in this region, just please pay close attention. We'll keep you updated here at the Hurricane Tracker app. The Canadian model is still showing a depression moving in here over the Florida Panhandle. While this is not totally out of the realm of possibility, it's not looking likely at this point. But we'll keep you updated as to what these models uh, show over the next few days. And um, if you don't have the Hurricane Tracker app and you'd like to check it out, go to www.hurtracker.com. We have web versions as well as iPhone and iPad versions if you like more in-depth information and to stay on top of the tropics. We'll be back with another video update as conditions warrant. Thanks for uh, using the Hurricane Tracker app and have a great day everybody.